Okay, so we're going to be going over uh, the cleaning process for your PGF. Uh, one of the first things you want to do when handling a firearm is ensure that it's not loaded. So go ahead and not loaded. Now, just like most ARs, you're going to take your uh, rear takedown pin out, which can be anything you can fit in there. So this hole here is your rear takedown pin hole. You can use a pin, uh, anything you can fit into this hole and push against it going to the right of the firearm and it will allow you to break it open what I call shotgun style. And then once you've got that far, you're going to go ahead and remove your bolt by pulling on the charging handle here. Removing your bolt carrier group and bolt assembly along with your charging handle. The next thing you're going to do is cover up the trigger to ensure that no cleaning solvents damage the electronics in the trigger. Simply just lay a rag over the lower. Get your bore guide, insert it into the chamber. Once you have that done, place a patch on your cleaning rod and jag apply some cleaning solution. We prefer to use hops number nine and insert your patch into your barrel. A dirty gun will come out with some dirt on your patch. What you want to do is run patches continuously through it until you don't see any type of debris or dirt. Once you've ran them continuously through and you're free of debris and dirt, and copper, lead, all that type of fouling. Go ahead and run some dry patches through your bore. Ensure that it is dried. Once you've completed the drying process, we recommend that you use a non-chlorinated brake clean to take care of any of the solvents that uh, are left over. A couple squirts down the bore and a wet patch of brake clean should do the trick. And just apply the brake clean like that. Now this is going to feel a little tighter in the bore. And then do the same drying process you did before. Once your patches are coming out dry, the cleaning process is complete. You'll then remove your bore guide, install your charging handle, and place your bolt back into the upper. Once you have that installed, go ahead and put your PGF back together. Push the pin back in. I like to do a function test to ensure that my uh, I didn't screw anything up in the me putting it back together. So the first thing you want to do, rack it, make sure it's not loaded. Put the weapon on fire. Pull the trigger. Keep it held to the rear. Rack the gun. Listen for the disconnect. Place it on safe and ensure that it doesn't fire. Now your PGF is ready to go. Anytime you switch ammo types from uh, your TSX or your TAC TX or your LRX, your solid copper round to your um, open tip match round, you're going to want to decopper the rifle entirely. Um, so the best time to clean would be anytime you're switching ammo types or if you've gotten around 100 to 200 rounds through your PGF, uh, it's probably about time to break it down and, and get it cleaned.